is for the governor. California is giving the undocumented immigrants a check for $500 to help during the pandemic. Many Latinos must go out to work because they don't qualify for any benefits. Given the high numbers of COVID-19 cases in the community, would you consider a similar message? And this question comes to us from Liza Gordon yeah. of Noticias Rhode Island. Thank you, Liza. This is something that is weighing very heavily on me right now. We had a great meeting or virtual meeting on Friday with my uh, uh, advisory group of Latino leaders. And we are working together to figure out the best ways that we can support the undocumented community. Uh, I, I can tell you we're doing an awful lot around food delivery. In fact, we just had a huge um, distribution on Saturday, yesterday, or Friday maybe, to the undocumented community, working very closely with Mayor Diosa. Uh, to figure out how we can help folks. So uh, we're doing more, we're gonna continue to do more. That could be an idea. Uh, we're gonna be open to a number of different ideas. I do wanna say a few things about this. I know there is fear in the undocumented community and I understand that, but I'm begging with you please to go get tested if you are sick. I promise you will be safe if you do that. I have said this in the past, you might show up and see people in uniform these are not ICE agents. These are people there to help you. It is free. We want you to get tested. We want you to get health care, and we are going to protect you. Uh, I'm going to be talking a lot about more about that this week, but it is, it's an important message. And to the leaders in the, the Latino community, please help us get that out. Second point, many members of the Latino community, uh, particularly women, but many members, work in these low-wage healthcare jobs. They are exactly the people we're talking about who work as uh, CNAs or nurses assistants or cleaning folks, food service in nursing homes, hospitals, and the like. And many of them also live in, um, you know, small apartments, crowded apartments. And so here's what I want you to know. Let us know so we can get you a free, safe, clean dormitory at Brown University. 